Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to find out your IP address, your gateway address, and your DNS server address using the command prompt in Windows. So the first thing you need to do is click on the start button and type CMD, as in Charlie Mike Delta. Once you've typed that, press enter and you'll get a prompt like this. Now, if the prompt screen isn't as big as this, you can resize it from the corner by dragging out the corner. <clears throat> so on this command prompt we want to type a command which will show us all the details we need. So that command is ipconfig, -F config, and then a space and forward slash all, A-L-L. -L. So when you type that and press enter, your screen will flash with a lot of information and what you need to do is scroll back up until you find the active network adapter. Now the active network adapter will normally have a lot more details than others. Now in my case I have some virtualized machines which get IP addresses but the adapter that I'm looking for is the wireless LAN adapter. Okay so this is how I'm connecting to my network. It'll start to give you more details about hardware address, whether or not you're using DHCP and IP version 6 address but the lines we're interested in are down here. So the first address you get is your own address 192.168.0.220 is what I've got on my machine. My submit mask 255.255.255.0 and my default gateway so this is where my machine will send all traffic to go out onto the internet 192.168.0.1 and then down further we find the DNS servers so these are the servers that we use when we're connecting to the internet, we type in a name, they go off and get the IP address and give it back to our computer. So in this case, my DNS servers are 89.101.160.5 and .160.4. On some networks, the gateway address will be the same as the DNS server address. So on some networks, you may find that your gateway is also your DNS server and that's okay. So that's how we uh, get IP addresses from the command prompt and in the next video I'll show you how to um, use Wireshark to get the information.